Hello, I'm Martha Raddatz, ABC News Chief Global Affairs Correspondent, and I am joined today by former Maine Senator Olympia Snow. Welcome and thank you for joining us this morning. And because we believe all politics is social at this week, we're going to ask Senator Snow some questions submitted on Facebook. The first question comes from Carolyn Howell Nugent. Are you happier since you left the Senate? And what can we, the people, do to really have our representatives pay heed to what we expect them to do while in office? Well, I'm happy about the direction that I'm taking, which is the fight outside the Senate uh, and to encourage people to demand bipartisanship on the part of their elected officials and to affirm, you know, what's happening uh, in Congress and what they can do about it personally. And that means providing a political reward at the ballot box for those who are willing to work across party lines and a political penalty for those who don't. The next question comes from Margie Neese, and she asked, what are your plans now? I should say you have just written the book, Fighting for Common Ground, How We Can Fix the Stalemate in Congress. So what are your plans now that the book is out? That's correct, and I'm going to be talking about it. And I've been speaking across the country on college campuses. I'm part of the Bipartisan Policy Center here in Washington that was co-founded by four former majority leaders, uh, Senator Daschle, Senator Mitchell, Senator Dolan, Senator Baker. And we've launched this project called Common Ground Project for Citizens for Political Reform because we want to galvanize a national movement to get involved uh, and be able to use social media and technology online uh, to demand accountability and bipartisanship on part of the elected officials and in real time come up with common ground solutions to the issues that are pending in the Congress and what the options are and bring both sides together to forge those solutions. We have to put a premium on bipartisanship. Uh, you know, frankly, it takes courage today to be part of the solution. Uh, it, it does indeed. Adrian Vivas asks, what are fair criticisms of the Democrats and President Barack Obama, and what are fair criticisms of the GOP? What, if anything, can be done to bridge these gaps, or is the political gulf too wide? I think that both sides, frankly, have failed to understand the respective roles in the majority and minority, that this is a divided government. And as a result, they have to work together. The Democrats have the majority in the United States Senate, but they don't obviously have the 60. They have to work with the minority. The minority has to work with the majority. And the same is true in the House of Representatives. The majority has to work with the minority, and the president has to work with both parties. Kind of a similar question here. Dan Rafferty, how does she feel about what's happened to her party and their obstruction? Well, they have to understand that there has to be you know, tolerance and diversity in views and that you can't solve problems without talking to those with whom you disagree, and that they don't have a monopoly on all the good ideas, and they have to accept they're going to get less of 100 percent. Never known any sphere of life where you get 100 percent of what you want. So they have to work together. I mean, after all, otherwise we're standing down and perpetuating the sta status quo. All right. Now it's time for our lightning round. First up, your favorite movie. Casablanca. <laughs> Love that movie. Did you see a lot of movies? <laughs> yes, I did, all the time. I Comfort haven't. food. Um, Greek food. I have to say that in uh, category. Not a surprise no, that's there. Right. Yeah, I'm with my you ethnicity there. and my aunt, she was a marvelous cook, so I just love Greek food. Yes. First concert? It was in college, Simon and Garfunkel. Uh, <laughs> I, think <laughs> it me. I think it was probably mine as Two. well. Special talent. Um, good instincts. Good instincts. Good instincts, yes. I'm instinctive. Yeah, I rely a lot on my instincts, and that works. <laughs> well, thank you for talking to us and answering our viewer questions through Facebook. Thanks very much, former Senator Olympia Snow. Thank you, Matt. You can read an excerpt of Senator Snow's new book at abcnews.com slash this week. And be sure to follow This Week on Twitter at This Week ABC and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash This Week. ABC. Have a good day.